And we are back at the Inferno as we have a matchup of the undefeated Blackman Blaze who have a record of 17-0, 3-0 in the district and are coached by Barry Wartman. They will be facing tonight the Riverdale Warriors from Cross Town, coached by Kevin Woodson with an 8-10 record and 1-3 in the district following their first win last night at Sonoma. We should have an interesting game here. It's a pretty big rivalry, and as we saw in the first game, no matter how big the lead is, it can be cut in half very quickly. And that's the Number 23, Jalen Campbell. Number 11, Stephen Wilson at center. And tipping off, Logan Pigpen. And number 15, Tomas Gray. And for your Blackman Blaze in the white, all white unis, jumping will be Coleman with Cousins, Thompson, McMiller, and Dowdy following him. And we're set to tip off. And just seconds away. up and this jump by Coleman and he still got the win there. Thompson will look to set up the offense here. If the Warriors are gonna have any chance they've got to stop him. Yeah they're gonna have to limit these open shots. Coleman with a long distance shot not like him and a quick miss and Quindell Cousins bobbles the offensive rebound. And the Warriors will take over for the first time tonight. And Riverdale has to try to pound the ball inside against the Blaze. It's going to be tough because Justin Coleman is down there, but Riverdale is a pretty good cool shot shooting fake. team. Woodson in the corner now. Go back up top to Campbell. Campbell will reverse it back. Good pass down low. And Tomas Gray with the first basket of the game. That was a good little play there, getting Tomas Gray to cut down low. They went behind Justin Coleman. He had no shot at that. Cousins to McMillan. McMillan looks down low for Coleman. He's got Thompson at the top. Thompson looked down low for Cousins. Cousins will do a little work of his magic. Count for three. And it's good. Cool. And that's something that the Blaze have been doing really well here at home is shooting the lights out of the three-pointer. Riverdale's going to have to go up top and try to guard him. Tomas Gray will look to set up the offense. Woodson in the corner. They just ran that same play. They tried to get Tomas Woodson Gray. Woodson with the jumper and it's off. Rebounded by McMillan. McMillan's off to the rim. This is a big part of the Blaze basketball. Oh, and a great defense. And number 11, Stephen Wilson off in the rim. He'll pull up, noticing he does not have the numbers. Gray to go to the hoop with the left-handed hook, and it's good! And he'll go to the line for a three-point chance. And Riverdale really converting, and they're getting the ball into the paint. They got a score down there tonight if they want to be able to hang in, and they're doing just that right now. Gray will step up to the line. And it's good, and the old-fashioned three-point play is a success, and the lady, excuse me, the Riverdale Warriors take a five to three lead. The middle to Dowdy at the top of the key. Back to Thompson, it looks up, and the three's up, and it's off. Over the backboard it goes. And Woodson went down for the Warriors. Darius Thompson, certainly a fun, fun player to watch. He has great court vision. 
the kid can jump, the kid can shoot. He's he just has it all. He's getting plenty of college attention. Campbell looks to set up the offense. Good defense by the Blazers. They got a jump ball. And great awareness by Quindo Cousins, but the possession arrow will favor the Warriors, and they will keep the ball under the basket as Woodson looks to inbound. That is good defense, though, there by Q. Woods into the corner for a three, and it's way off. Daddy looks to push down. Quindell Cousins under. Five on the foul, and Quindell Cousins will go to the line for two. That's something that the Blaze really want to do here tonight. Work the ball down low, take advantage of the, of the size advantage that they have, and get some, get some free throws here as Q's going to be fouled. Cousins are going line for two, and the first one's up, and it's good. Second one is up, and it's good. And a 5-5 tie with 5.25 remaining in the first period. A little man-to-man -man full court press by the Blazers. A good pick set by number 34, Logan Thigpen. Woodson out. He's really struggling. Thompson is really just all over him. He's put two shots up, and they've not been close. Thompson with a good defense off the pick. Needs a little help, and the shot's up, and it's off. Rebounded by McMiller. And Campbell really has no other choice but to shoot there. That's great defense by Darius Thompson. Dowdy sets up down to Cousins in the post. Thompson's got a three, takes it. It's off. A little contact there. The rest didn't call the foul, though. That's going to be something that'll be good to watch here is the refs and how they're going to call this game. Great to Thigpen. Thigpen picks up his dribble, goes out to Wilson. Wilson looking to set up. Thigpen down low, and it's up, and it's off. He had an open layup, and it looked like he thought he was going to get hit, but he didn't. Yeah, it's a missed early layup. He did go with a little push there to get Coleman off. Woodson on the breakaway, pulls it back out, noticing he does not have numbers across to Wilson. Wilson for three, it's up, and it's short. Rebounded by Thompson. And the Blaze have numbers. And it's good. A good pass down low by Thompson as he went until the very last second to drop it off to the cutting KJ Dowdy. That's something he's very good at is passing the basketball. When he gets down on a fast break, he's able to see any, everything around him and he's able to make a nice dish to Dowdy for the layup. Woodson on top of the key off. Gray in the corner. Gray goes to the middle of the free throw line. He's got a shot. It's up left-handed, and it's good. And Tomas Gray has really been playing some really good basketball here, and he's keeping Riverdale in this game. Cousins off to Dowdy. Dowdy down low to Coleman. Coleman really, oh, rejected by Thickman. Great defense. Dowdy. And the foul is committed by number 23, Jalen Campbell. And Thompson really passing well down into the post, feeding the post, and Riverdale is fouling quite a bit here. Cousins will go to the line with three minutes remaining in the first half. The first quarter, excuse me. First shot's up and it's off, too strong. First substitution of the game for your plays. Number 12, Jawad Jennings will come in for Alec McMillan. And I would assume Josh Mahal will come in for Quindell Cousins out following this free throw. And it's missed, and the lady, the Warriors look to run. Tomas Gray looking to get past Jennings. 
Five second call, and great defense by Jawan Jennings as the plays will take over. And now as we have a timeout here, Josh Mahar will come in for Quindo Cousins. And Jawan Jennings has really provided a great spark off the bench for the Blaze this season. Great defense, and he's very explosive offensively as well. Being a two-point star, two-sport star, he's really given both the football team and the basketball team a lot of energy this year. He is probably the best athlete on this basketball team. Dowdy for three, it's up, and it's a little short. Rebounded by Mahar, and Mahar goes up strong, and it's good. Number 15, Tomas Gray brings the ball to the court. Looking for a pass out, he throws it away into the BHS student section. They're going to say it's tipped, and Riverdale will keep possession. They're going to say tipped. I did not see a deflection on the play. But could have very well been, though. Could have looked like Mahal was the closest one to the ball there. Woodson into Tomas Gray. He looks to set up, looking for a pick from Woodson. Woodson could not get there. Hands off to number 20, Austin McGrone. Working the ball around the top. Timeout yeah. from Good Coach deal. Kevin Woodson. And we'll be back after our first break. After a short 30 second timeout, we are back with a minute and 56 remaining. Your Blaze lead 9 to 7. Both teams playing really good defense here in the first quarter, and we'll see if this will continue into the second. Gray looks over to Coach Woodson for the call. Hands off to Woodson. Woodson back to Gray. And Jawan Jennings is really giving this. Warriors T offense, a lot of problems. Yeah, he's, he's all over the place he's right now. Awesome fits up top. Wilson for three, it's up, and it's good. Nothing but net. Steven Wilson, one of the leading scorers for Riverdale. He's getting 10 points a game this year. Daddy looks to set up the offense. Oh, and he crosses it over on his own foot. But great defense by KJ Daddy as he gets the ball back. Up to Thompson. Thompson to Daddy. Daddy with the drive. Goes up strong. And just a little too hard, but the foul will be on number 34, Logan Thickman, as Daddy goes to the line. Four, if, two. If they can keep attacking the post, they're going to get fouled every time, and they're going to continue to get, get free throws. Daddy's really improved from last year. He could possibly be the most improved player on this Blaze basketball team. Yeah, last year he uh, he got a lot of open looks, but he, looked, he wasn't too much of a finisher. Now he's cutting to the basket. He's getting more free throw opportunities, and he's really sinking those last threes. Foul, Josh Mahal on the foul on the, off, on the yeah, attempt at an offensive rebound. Riverdale will take control under Blackman's goal. Gray brings it up. Great defense by Johnson. Thompson guarding Woodson as close as he could get. McGrove with the drive and he loses control. Looking for a teammate as it close to the out of bounds line. Throws it up and Woodson's there. Really good defense here by the Blaze. They're not letting Riverdale do what they want to do. Three, and it's good. And man, are the Riverdale Warriors ready to play tonight. Really sinking the threes. They're trying to get the ball down low, but they're really making the threes, so I'd continue to shoot those. And another costly miss by the Blackman Blaze as the Riverdale Warriors will take over. 
Wilson out to Woodson at the top of the key. Passes off to McGrove. McGrove throws it up and Gray's there to receive. A wild pass. A lot of ball movement by the Riverdale Warriors, and it seems to be effective here now at the offensive key. McGrove with the shot fake. Got Mahar in the air, and then way off as he shoots high. And after one, the Riverdale Warriors have come to the Inferno leading 13 to 10. We'll be back after a short break. <laughs> 